Hey everybody, happy Monday and welcome back to my channel. As you can see from the title, today I am going to give five fitness tips to help you with your workouts. Let's get started. Let me start by saying I am in no way a professional. These are my personal thoughts and opinions um, from experience. So take them as you'd like. Tip number one, treat your workouts like appointments. I'm guilty of not doing it. Um, I have personally done it and for me it worked perfectly. Let's just think of it this way. I'll say, I'm gonna work out tomorrow. Tomorrow comes, I wake up. Um, I don't necessarily get straight to the workout, but I know that today I'm gonna work out, right? Don't view it like an option. Think of it as an obligation. Think of it as a meeting with yourself that is going to make you better. Um, for example, tomorrow I have an appointment to work out at eight o'clock. If that means I gotta wake up at 7, 7.30 to prep myself to be in the gym at that time, then that's what you gotta do. When you set an allotted time for this workout to be done, it becomes a part of your day. You won't have to spend your day wondering, when am I gonna fit this workout in? You already in your mind have that time that it's gonna get done and everything else is life. <laughs> what you gotta do on your regular day. Tip number two don't be afraid to do it alone i'm a natural loner so i could see how for maybe an extrovert or an outgoing or somebody who's always around people could find this um difficult <laughs> but realistically it's what you do when you're by yourself that really really counts if you need somebody with you to work out all the time to actually get stuff done um, then you might want to reevaluate your actual reasons for working out. Does that make sense? I'm hoping it makes sense. These are your goals. Um, this is your life. Um, this is your body. So only you are going to be able to make it happen. Granted, it's it's fun. It's great to have a support system, friend workouts. It's it's perfectly fine. But. You got to be able to know that when nobody's there to hold your hand, nobody's there to push you, you have to be okay with going in and saying, I'm about to get this done, even though nobody's here. I've been there. I've literally made plans to work out with people. Um, they flaked and I didn't go just because they flaked, which had nothing to do with what I should have did. And it helped me back a lot. This was a while ago but I know from personal experience that it can stop you from moving forward, waiting for other people, period. <laughs> and that doesn't just go with fitness. Don't wait for people to do what you want to do. Get it done with or without somebody's help. Tip number three, stretch. I'm sure you hear this a lot. Make sure you stretch before you work out. Don't forget to stretch. It's not just to say it, <laughs> but over time, working out isn't stretching your body out. Working out isn't helping your flexibility. Working out isn't opening your body. Um, and if you continue to work out and don't stretch your ligaments, um, your muscles, just your body in general, um, you can just walk around sore and stiff. And I mean, what's the point, right? If you aren't actually healing and growing and changing your body. Something as simple as using a couple of minutes to stretch your body before a run can make it so much smoother, um, can alleviate so much pain that you might feel. Um, and when you do it consistently, not only are you stretching your body, you are just helping transform your body from the inside out like don't forget to, don't forget to stretch it sounds so simple but it is so important tip number four turn your can'ts into cans that sounds really weird but let me explain it's all in here that battle that mental tug of war that you experience when you're in the middle of a workout and you want to stop um you have to work on reversing that role of, I can't do it. You have to take those can'ts out, 
of what you mentally tell yourself, where you, whether you're trying to do it or not, it's going to come. I don't know if it's just me, but regardless of how good I've gotten in my cardio and my running, every time I start a run, 30 seconds in, there's this voice in my head saying, oh my God, you, you can't do this. Or, oh no, I can't do a mile. No, I can't do two miles. Pay attention to what you're telling yourself. Because if you allow that can't, can't, can't mentality to continue to creep in, your legs are going to stop. And you're going to start walking. And you're going to stop running. And you're going to give up. But you're not going to push yourself to that next level. So when you hear that, don't just allow it to keep on creeping in. Change that can't and tell yourself, I can do this. I've done this before. I've done more than this. Um, I know I'm capable. My legs are able. Mentally train yourself while you're working out. Change those can'ts into can'ts. It is a thing. And lastly, tip number five, plan. Plan, 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 plan. I'll be honest, I am a fan of the freestyle workouts, um, but it took me some time to get to this point. Um, sometimes what works for me, depending on my schedule, is to go in and do what feels right for me. However, if you're starting your fitness journey and you are confused with what to do and where to go, my recommendation is to plan your workout. Um, and that deals with research. Go online, seeing what exercises that you haven't tried, exercises that pinpoint a specific part of your body, something that you are working on specifically. But to write it down, have a plan, is a better way to get through it. Because for example, let's say you wanna say, I'm gonna do some squats today, okay? You start doing your squats. One squat two squat, three squat, this hurts, let me stop, and you stop, and you might go on to the next workout. Um, you kind of shortchange yourself when you don't set a specific goal because you aren't really letting yourself down if you don't meet set goal. Um, you're just doing a little bit, which a little bit's better than nothing, um, but when you write it down and say, I'm going to do three sets of this, I'm going to do this, Write it down and, and don't stop until you do that so that when you're done with your workout, you feel accomplished. So definitely plan so that when your workout is done, you feel like you killed it. Best feeling in the world. Trust me. I know. But that's it. My five fitness tips to help you with your workouts. Let me know what you thought about it below. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. And if you like these kind of tip videos, let me know below. I can definitely do more. Um, but yeah, I hope that these tips help you go that extra mile and kill this week. That's the goal. Until next time, thank you for watching.